In the early stages of the Bible, we encounter the fascinating stories of the patriarchs, the founding figures of the nation of Israel. The patriarchs are Abraham, his son Isaac, and then his son Jacob. The period in which they lived is known as the patriarchal age. So let's begin. Our journey begins with Abraham and his wife, Sarah. God called Abraham to leave his homeland and promised to make him the father of a great nation. Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. And you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all families of the earth shall be blessed. Abraham was already 75 years old when he, Sarah, and his son's brother, Lot, left their homeland. When Abraham entered Canaan, God told him that his descendants would someday inherit that land. However, there was a famine there, so Abraham traveled to Egypt. Even though his wife, Sarah, was 65 years old at the time, she was apparently very attractive. He was afraid that when the Egyptians saw her, they would kill him and take her. Not trusting God, Abraham concocted a story about Sarah being his sister. The Egyptians did find Sarah very attractive. The princes gave Abraham sheep, cattle, donkeys, servants, and camels to get on Abraham's good side and have a shot with Sarah. God was not happy with this turn of events. He plagued Egypt with great plagues. Pharaoh ordered Abraham to leave Egypt and he traveled back to Canaan, a very rich man. Abraham divided the land between him and Lot and increased in wealth, power, and blessings. Lot, however, had problems. First, an invading army took him captive and plundered all of his possessions. Abraham and 318 trained men rescued Lot and retrieved all of the possessions taken from the town where he lived, Sodom. Then God, fed up with the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah, which were lawless and <laughs> sinful places, warned Abraham that he was about to destroy them. Through Abraham's intercession, God sent two angels to warn Lot of the impending destruction of the city. Lot, his wife and daughters escaped but God continued to bless Abraham despite his many blunders. Finally, God blessed Abraham and Sarah with a son, Isaac. Abraham was 101 years old. Sarah was 91. After many years, God tested Abraham's faith. God commanded him to take Isaac to Mount Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering. Abraham complied and just as he was preparing to plunge the knife into his God-promised son, Isaac, an angel of the land, and prevented the sacrifice. Abraham's faithfulness and trust in the Lord prompted him to bless Abraham. He said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, Blessing, I will multiply and, bl and bless you, and multiplying, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore, and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. And with that, we conclude this study on Abraham, the first of the patriarchs. So make sure you subscribe in order to learn more about what happens next in our following Bible study.